Here is a model called The Weakest Link. It's designed to show you the power and simplicity of using distribution objects within model risk, a unique feature to model risk. The idea of this problem is to try to find the probability that a wind gust will break the anchoring chains of an oil rig. It's composed of two components really. First of all, we look at the strengths of the chains uh, and then we look at the strength of the wind. And if the wind is greater than the strength of the chains, then we're going to get a break in the chain. First of all, let's look at the strength of a link. Here you'll see the formula. It says foes log normal, log normal being the distribution, and then object. It has a mean of 854, a standard deviation of 27. Now, by writing object in here, what we've done is not asked uh, model risk to take a random sample from this log normal distribution, but simply to define the log normal distribution. As with almost all uh, model risk functions, if you've got uh, uh, a function written in your spreadsheet cell, you can go to the model risk ribbon and you can click on view function. This shows you the log normal distribution. Here there's a density and the cumulative plot. You will see the parameters written in here on the left hand side and a number of statistics associated with the distribution, the mean, the median, the variance, cumulus ketosis and a number of percentiles. We can also interrogate this distribution a bit, move some slider bars here left and right and look at the probabilities of being above and below particular values. Now in this particular oil rig we have 12,582 links to the chains that are holding it to the seabed. And what we want to do is find out what the strength of the weakest link might be out of those 12,582. So here we have a function called Vos Smallest. Vos Smallest takes two parameters. The first parameter is this log normal distribution describing the strength of an individual link. And the second parameter is the number of links that we want to look at. And it will return for me a random sample of the size of the weakest link the strength of the weakest link. And as with other model risk functions, we can click on view function. Because I've already got the, the floating toolbar up for view, viewing the function, I can click on here. And you'll see that same log normal distribution for the strength of the weakest link or the strength of a link. And then you'll see here the distribution calculated for the strength of the smallest uh, or the weakest link out of those 12,582 you notice that this centers around seven, something like 760, which is way off to the left-hand side of this log normal distribution. Again, we can see the moments, mean variance, cumulus ketosis. Because it's all calculated, we can ask a lot of things, like what is the 20th percentile, or etc., from this particular weakest link. The other side of the problem is exactly the same. We have the stress of a wind gust. And again, we're going to say this takes a log normal distribution. And I can click up here and show you. It's a log normal distribution with a mean of 353, a standard deviation of 82. And this is its shape. It's got a long tail. And the number of gusts in a year, well, that's not a fixed number. It's a random variable. The number of links in the chain was fixed, of course. But how many gusts might we have in a particular year? Well, in this case, we've used a polio distribution. Poly distribution is a slight sophistication over the Poisson distribution that people will commonly uh, use. Poisson distributions describe how many events might occur in a particular period where they occur very randomly in time. Well, the poly distribution is an extension to that. It says that the average rate at which they will occur can vary as a random variable itself. And so we have a, a little bit more spread than uh, in a Poisson distribution for the same mean. Anyway. In this random sample, you'll see that we've got 210 gusts. And then over here, we're looking at Vos largest. And it's exactly the same format as the Vos smallest. We've got the log normal distribution for the stress of a wind gust. And we've got how many gusts we might actually have in the year. And this will take a random sample and tell me what the largest wind gust is. Now, clearly, if that largest wind gust, the stress of it is greater than the strength of the weakest link, then we're going to get a break in our chain. 
So this final cell over here, it says if, if we look inside the, pram, the brackets here, if this maximum gust stress is bigger than the weakest link, then write down a 1. Otherwise, write down a 0. And by doing that, we are saying there's a flag that whenever the, the stress is bigger than, the, the, than the, the strength of the link, then we, the 1 is saying that the, the chain is broken. Those sim mean will calculate the mean after running a simulation of this particular formula. Now this formula, the mean of that formula, is equivalent to the probability that you're going to have uh, a break in your chain. So all we have to do now is run a simulation. Note before I run a simulation, and this is very typical for model risk functions, instead of just having an error message, model risk, uh, the both sim mean function is saying that there are no simulation results yet for which you can provide a mean value. We have a, a lot of functions like that that explain to you why it's not returning the value that you might have expected. So I can set the number of samples I'm going to run my model for. Here I'm going to make it 5,000. I click Start, and you'll see the simulation runs. And when it's finished, we get 4.36%. So there's a 4.36% probability that the chain will break. Now what's interesting about this model is that I can change the number of links. So here I'm going to have a couple of zeros. I'm going to make it just over a million links. That's a very big chain. I'm going to run the model again. After just a few seconds, the same amount of time as we had for just uh, 12,000 links, you get the answer. Of course, the probability is going to be bigger because there are more links to break. So as you have greater chance, at least one of them will break. And so here you see the probability is now 6.94%. But what's very interesting about this is that it's the, the speed at which this runs is completely independent from the number of links there are in the chain, or indeed from the number of gusts, because we use high-level mathematics to be able to directly calculate what the distribution will be of the extremes, either the minimum or maximum. And when we run a simulation, it's simply sampling from those values, from those two distributions. The equivalent in other risk analysis software applications would be that you'd have to write 1.2 million cells with log normal distributions in them, calculate the minimum of those, run, in this case, 156, but it would be a random variable, uh, uh, cells with this log normal distribution, find the maximum, and then apply this equation here. So the object approach to the model risk uniquely has 